It started off as a knock at Carissa Nash's front door in Forney. And I look at my doorbell camera on my phone first before going to the door and I see it's a, a little kid. That little kid is her nine year old neighbor with the whip in hand. The Kaufman County Precinct 2 constable says the boy may have been trying to confront the Nash family's nine year old daughter. Then after the second whip. Little boy, you better get your from off my porch beating on my door like this. I will call the police. You need to leave. It happened on Thursday afternoon off of Crosscut Drive in Forney when dad, Desiera Nash, got home. Coming yeah. to have a conversation with you, sir. Your son? I'll show you the video. Okay, so you beat on your door. Okay, now we have a huge scratch. Can you come look at our car? Seconds later. Can you please stop, sir? Authorities say neighbor Ryan Brunson had a gun in his right hand. Officers say the gun went off, firing in the direction of Brian's daughter standing directly behind him. Oh, my God! Precinct 2 officers arrested Brunson and charged him with deadly conduct. We tried to get Brian Brunson's side of the story. I spoke to him on the phone briefly where he posted bond and tells me there is a lot more to the story and that he now has an attorney. Authorities tell us all of this may have stemmed from when the kids were walking home from school. This stems from a bullying issue uh, between the victim's daughter and the young boy with the will. There's been several interactions between two of them. Um, at different times and different locations. And then it escalated because the dad threw, like, he pulled out a gun and was like, blah, 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 blah. Sat the gun down on the porch, started talking, then it escalated. He grabbed the gun again, didn't handle the gun properly, discharged the gun. Now the dad is in constant custody and going inside. Take a couple of things to appreciate. I did thought it was kind of funny that when the mom opened the door, she said, get off my porch. She kind of stood there like he was going to whoop her ass too. And then you get back to the crib, the parents confront the father, gun goes off, all this stuff. And then you realize, like, oh, that's why the kid's that way. Yeah. Yeah. You don't just, you're not just born this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, most of a child's behavior is socialized. A lot of it. A lot of it, yeah. So when a kid comes to your door with a whip, that didn't come out of nowhere. And where do you get the whip? And what's the whip there for? Yeah. Check the little kids behind. Pause. I'm sure there's some whip marks. What? I'm not checking no kids behind. <laughs> Please, obviously. That's why I said pause. This is not even good. Why is your kid having a whip and just playing like that with a whip? That's, yo, that's just crazy. There's nothing that, that there's, what do you want me to add to this? So we don't know why they was looking for the daughter? So he almost shot his own daughter? What? The bullet almost struck Brunson's own daughter who was standing behind him. I thought it struck the, almost struck the boy. It almost struck his, two, his young daughter. His daughter, the dad's daughter. Yeah. Imagine that. So he's hit with a felony charge. Yeah, because you cannot discharge a, a gun like that for no reason. Even if you're like, oh, yeah, so, oops, sorry. Oops, sorry doesn't doesn't cut it. You can't oops, sorry, like a gun discharge like that. And I just, I just appreciate the fact that if you have a gun, if you own a gun, and you don't know how to operate it, you're going to be held accountable for that. So I, I appreciate that. So this kid gets into a fight with a lot of kids around the neighborhood, apparently. According to what the kid says, the 13-year-old son had hit him when he was on his way back from school, and so that's why he was there at the door. He wanted revenge. The parents say that's not possible because our kid goes in school later because he's 13, so he was not even around when you were there. He's still at school. So how are you saying he beat you up? The story's kind of crazy. To know what the hell really happened, I will wait. You know, another thing is like gun rights are fantastic, but they also come with a tremendous amount of responsibility. Yeah. For you to just be waving your gun around, almost shoot, like... Absolutely irresponsible. Yeah. And you should go to jail. It's not just, oh, I want to own guns. It's fantastic. It's like, they come with responsibilities. Yeah. And like, in terms of parenting, like, poof, almost shooting your own daughter, teaching that to your kids, potentially going to jail and being absent from their life. It's like, as a parent, at what point do you take accountability? That's crazy. This kid really walked out with a whip and started hitting someone's door. Yeah. Insane. Yes. The entitlement. That's I'm going to knock on your door and I'm going to end on my bed. You a kid, kid. I'm not from Texas, all right? So I ain't never been to them parts. What are the reasons that people own whips down there? What? 
Is there like some kind of like reason that people just own casually whips? No, my it, question. It, it, what, what, what the, the problem is, the problem is you use it in that setting. Like it could be for a bunch of things. Whips has been part of the history of, 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 of Texas for numerous reasons, but only also because of cattle, because of, of, right. of farming, because of that. So let's not think like necessarily inherently, you know, and you know, mm -hmm, I'm, I'm not all of that, that shit. But I'm not thinking so, that. I'm just saying, I'm just, you not, maybe no. not. But we're talking to people right there. So I just want to put that out there that that's not what we think necessarily. So there might be a bunch of reason. It might be for this or that and whatever. So it doesn't really matter what you what you what you own. It's how you use it. You're gonna take that whip and then you're gonna go walk down the street and whip some what? The the reason why I'm bringing it up why would anybody own that is a child when he felt threatened. The first thing he went to was the whip. Yeah. Didn't go to a knife. No. Didn't go to any other weapon. No. Went to the whip, which means he's learned that that is a weapon. Yeah. I'm not saying this man's using it on black folks, all that. I'm saying he probably using it on his kids. Because for a child to jump to that conclusion after seeing the whip, listen, if I got to be for someone, I'm grabbing a stick. I'm grabbing things I've seen my mom use before. Or I'm grabbing a knife, things I've seen in TV. I'm not grabbing a whip. But a whip, if we're talking about distance, a whip is a good... We agree, but you have to know that. Yeah. You have to have seen that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he saw rooms a couple of times. <laughs> As a nine-year-old? Hey! Oh, no, no, no. Of course, these are assumptions. But I do think it's very telling that a child would pick that weapon of all. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Maybe. Listen, listen. If I see a kid hitting somebody with a spatula, bitch, they didn't just grab that out of nowhere. They you got to go into the catcher cabinet and look for it. Why? Because your mama used it. Or you learned that behavior somewhere else someone was to told you about that whip or something like that. I'm sorry, but nine-year-olds don't just be grabbing whips out of nowhere. That's crazy to me. So unless a dad works in farming and I'm unaware, I don't know. That looks a little bit shady. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of farming you use a whip. I said farming and stuff like that, cattle and stuff like that. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. But I don't know. There's probably use for that, that I'm unaware. So you know what? Let us know in the comments below some reasons why people yeah. might own whips. I'm unaware. Okay. Uh, but yeah, me watching this video, I just it's just such an odd video. Yep, it yeah. is. Yeah. It is. There's a lot, there's a lot to unfold. Yeah. There's a lot there. Yeah. Just walk first he walks up there, bangs the way he bangs on the door. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah. Then the whip. Woo! I mean, yeah, you know, you got violent tendencies, you get bullied, you respond with violence. That's I'm gonna be honest, as a kid, I was pretty violent myself. Like, that's not too abnormal to me. Meets the choice of the weapon and the way he went about it, and then what unfolded afterwards that was telling. What? Because here's the thing most of us as kids responded with violence to violence. Mm -hmm. That was normal. Why? Because we learned it from our parents, too. Our parents beat us, so we beat other people. Mm -hmm. We're not talking. So I'm, I'm not, if I'm angry as a child, I'm gonna do that. So I'm not surprised by that. Me, I, I just think it's crazy. I seen a motherfucker with a whip at nine. An adult, I could have lived with. I've seen adults with machetes and samurai swords. Okay, you can explain that. A child with a samurai sword, I'm going to think that's kind of crazy. <laughs> but a whip takes the cake. Because that is a, like a different kind of weapon. You need to know what it's for before you even touch it. Yeah. That's not something that we just know. Like, this nigga's not watching Indiana Jones every day. So, um, that's just my thoughts. Maybe I'm wrong. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. But I think there's going to be, maybe there's going to be a part two of the video. Maybe. Maybe not. Because we don't know. If 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 the information is dull, whatever. If it's not, I, I just want to know what it, The media's not going to come part two of this. You want to know why? Because they already got the back, the white boy with the whip. They got the white so the they, got, they got the white boy with the whip at the door of the black people. Yes. So even if there's- In a, Texas. Even if there's a subsequent story that comes out that turns out the 13 boy was bullying the kid or whatever, yeah. going after him, you think they're going to punish nah, that? Nah, nobody nah. cares. No, nah, nobody cares. It's and, there was a, and there was a gun discharge? No, nah, nah, they're not covering it. They're not covering that. 